Wait, really, Dad? I mean, it gotta be like some type of. Uh, we gotta get a, like a beginning music, like an intro. Yeah, I, I, I do that post only because it captures the outgoing, and since you're outgoing, it wouldn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yes. So. So how's it doing, son? What's going on? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, I'm happy to hear that, man. I'm glad you had me on your show. Love what you're doing, son. You know, <laughs> show. <laughs> Much respect to you, son. Okay. That, that this is not a show. It's it's. <laughs> She's just we're talking about things. That, uh, okay, podcasts, we're talking about things. All right. Well, hey, it's still a show, podcast show, same thing. So, uh, yeah. So, what are the topics for today? Uh, global warming. Global warming. Mm. Now that is very much real, you know. Yeah. Uh, global warming. I'm sorry about that. Global warming uh, is definitely in full effect. You can see. You can see it all around. You could. All the glaciers are melting. Yeah, and, and the sea know, levels are rising too. Sea levels are rising. That's that's. I mean, at an alarming rate. You know what I mean? So, uh, like, it's, it's it's something serious. It's definitely something need to be talked about. You know, in schools and in, you know, in everyday conversation because it's it's affecting everything. Yeah. Um. In RCC, when we do current events, we sometimes talk about global warming. But most of the time, we we are we um, talk about politics, and that's only because of the you know races going on here. Um, who, who do you think is gonna win? Uh you mean the presidential debate, the presidential yeah. race? Yeah, who's, who do you think is gonna win? Uh, no, no, sorry, uh, no, I shouldn't ask that. Who, who, if you were to vote, who would you vote for? Ah, uh, <laughs> <Same answer. laughs> I have to answer this, son. <laughs> yes, I mean you don't have to, but. No, I'll answer, you know, um, you know, uh, if I had to vote, like if somebody had a gun to my head and I had to vote, yes, um, I would just let them shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, that's the truth, son. You yeah, know, yeah. I, hey, I'm bringing it down to you, son. Like, in any way you see it, this, this, um, whoever wins is going to be historical. I think Bernie is Jewish. Hillary is like the first woman. Donald Trump's gonna be the last president. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you said Donald Trump will be the last president. You got that right. The way this country going, shoot, <laughs> yeah, ain't not be no more America after him. <laughs> it's gonna be a wall. Yeah, it's gonna be. A wall. <laughs> no, no, no. I should say it. it's gonna be Attack on Titan. If anyone oh. knows that. They, 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 um, they built a bunch of walls around. So, so, oh so, you know. my! Oh no, I broke it. Yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> damn. I broke my damn thing. <laughs> what did you break? So, oh man, oh this is garbage now. I can't even sell it if I wanted to. Oh what did man. You break? Oh, uh, I was stupid just now. All right, well, oh well. Um, it was uh, adapted to my lens. Oh well. Oh, that's bad. I think. Yeah, it's all right. It's only eight dollars. So I just buy another one. <laughs> It's all right. So, anyways, um, yeah. 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 So, what, who would you vote for if you had to? Uh, Hillary, honestly. Hillary? Yeah. You know, Hillary was in Brooklyn the other day in, Fl- in Crown Heights. Like, what the hell was she doing in Crown Heights? Don't know. I don't know either. And she was walking straight down one of the streets. I forgot the street it was. She was. I mean, she is a human and people walk. I mean, maybe she just wanted to take a walk or something. In Brooklyn? Yeah. Work. Yes. Work. <laughs> she just wanted to. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I want to um, go off Brooklyn. I don't. I don't even. I don't even think we're gonna finish the warring now. So I'm just gonna say, um, I saw this video on YouTube where this um guy, he was harassed when he went to a to a Trump rally here in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. It was uh, it was it was dumb. Like, there were, like, two black guys and a bunch of, like, a sea of white people at a Trump rally. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think the first one was kicked out. No, the first one was, uh, was escorted out by the police. And I think the second one, I don't think I finished that one. It was either on Facebook or YouTube. But, yeah, that that was just sad. Yeah, well, just let you know, you know, where this country is still, you know? Yeah. Like, people people think that slavery, I mean, I say we, uh, that our racism is dead and doesn't exist anymore and this 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 particular presidential race shows 
how racist America is still is. Yeah. There are a lot of racism, a lot of racist people out there that hates black people. Yeah, I don't understand how you could hate someone because of the color of their skin. Well, yeah, it's, it's crazy, but that is that's that's what it is, you know. That's and that's what it is, and that's why you know it's important to be educated and to move wise and and you know be careful and and know what it is, man. This is what it is, and it's important to really you know build your own homeschool, teach your own kids, build your own communities build our own banks build our own just everything you know because it it, it ain't working together <laughs> them rallies is straight them, them, them white folks they they and they let us know we hate you niggers <laughs> get out of this country niggers yes I mean, where, are we, where are we supposed to go they're the ones who brought us over here brought us, first of all they're the, they're the ones that, it ain't even their country it's not <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know, Native Americans are treated more, um, more, uh, they're, they're, it's sad that there are less Native Americans than I think any other race in the United States, and they're treated, um, worse than, um, of course. all black people in the country. Seriously, there are more deaths by police, um, um, for Native Americans than there are black people every year. Really? Yeah. You sure about that? Yep. Wow. Well, you know, there's a reason for that because they're still they're getting reparations. They get money. They get all types of incentives. They, if you have a, if you can prove that you have a bloodline from a tribe, then you get free like free housing. You get free college. You get free all types of stuff. Like you ain't got to pay for nothing. Yeah. So, so if there's a plan to wipe them out, so they ain't got to pay for all that, then yeah, I could, I, yeah, I could believe it. Um. Well, when I was in my Native American. Uh... Or, um, American Indian Studies class. This um, the, this news article. It was just a few months ago. This guy who no, not that one. This um, what was the story about? It was about a guy who um who got shot, and I think it was a uh, um, Seven Eleven. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh, no, no, it wasn't. It was this guy who was um who was drunk, right? Mm -hmm. His wife called the police on him. The guy had no weapons. I, th I think he had a um. Yeah, he just had the bottle, didn't have a gun, he was standing there acting like a drunk person. The police came, and they shot him twice. Wow. For no reason. Because all, all the wife said was to, I, th I think she said just to make sure he didn't hurt anybody. Or, yeah, because he was afraid because he was drunk. So they came right. there, and they shot him. For wow. no reason. What was this? Um... I forgot where it was. It, um, I mean, the the class was in last semester, so I honestly. Oh, uh, okay, so. okay. Well, you know, those, these stories ain't new. You know, they they keep happening. So, you know, it's like, and you know, there's there's there's, there's an agenda. You know what I mean, and that's why I tell you all the time, man. Be aware there is an agenda to wipe us out. Keep it clean. You know, just clean us out. So. You know, people, you know, we got to be educated on their agenda and realize that this shit is real. It ain't, I'm sorry, be cursing. That this is really <laughs> real. <laughs> you may have to beep that out. <laughs> but, I, don't, I don't even know how to get a bleep sound. You got to just download it from you? I told you. I, I'll, I'll yeah, tell you yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw that, but it's it's just weird. Um, This, this is going to be a lot of things because I have to, um, like, do the video and then I think bring up the article and all that stuff like a regular yeah. video it, it should be easier no it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely gonna be harder than most of my other videos but right. it's uh it's a lot th this is a lot better than what i usually do okay cool well i know i can hear you good and and when you post it i'm gonna repost it and repost it post it and post it repost it <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah so I, I think i might end it here um end it here we just getting we just getting started yeah okay um do you have any other topics you want to talk about Hell yeah. Listen, what do you see this country in the next 10 years? Me? You, son. Where do I see it? Um, by which I think you follow up. I think you follow current events. You, you, you're by... old enough and you're intelligent to know what's going on in this country. Yeah. Right. Um, so... By which president? 
No, this what do you see the country? It ain't the matter of the president. Yeah. What do you see the country in ten years? Twenty years. I ain't gonna say ten years. Twenty in years. twenty years, I think we're gonna be like China. What do you mean, like China? Like we 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 ourselves are gonna have very limited resources, like they are, because we're we're we're, we're in debt to China. Mm, mm, and mm-hmm. since they have they have almost no resources over there, I think we're gonna be living like them. Wow. It's interesting you say that, son, because I think the same as well. As well, because there eventually there's going to be no limited... Re- You're right. You know what? Oof, man, son. Man, thank you for saying that. That means that I'm working. That means that I've worked. That means you listen to me. <laughs> wow. How old, how old are you? Let the people know how old you are. Fifteen. How old are you, Morgan? Fifteen. Fifteen years old. Fifteen years old, and you know, I've talked. To, I've talked to you, like how I'm talking to you now. I talked to you when you were in the car seat, just like this, and I ain't never stopped. I cut the music off, and I, we, I'm talking to you while I'm driving, and for you parents, you new parents out there, do the same. Talk to your kids. They will get it. They will understand. They will understand eventually. And it's interesting you say that because that is exactly what's going to happen. It may not be in 20 years, maybe, and I don't know, maybe a little later, maybe 30, 40. But yes, we're going to be running around here, you know, scraping up, scrapping up for a little, little bit of water, clean water. Uh oh, what was that? What was what? I heard something and ding. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe it's nothing. Um, yeah, but you're right. So, you know, thanks for having me on, son. Yeah. Okay, so we're going. That's the outro. Yeah! Really day. All right. <laughs> Till yeah. so next time, America. <laughs> America. <laughs> All right. I'm-